This is an example of one of many. He believed that lower race blacks would go extinct and he also opposed helping the sick and this is a female gorilla and I've never seen a gorilla that looks like that and this is a female Hootentot and I've never seen a Hootentot that looks like that. And I went to South Africa and saw lots of Hootentots. They were working for the person I, who sponsored my trip who was a doctor and uh, these are just character, char characterizations. And I talked to an evolutionist about this and he says, well, that's called artistic license. I call it distortions in what happens. But uh, he concluded from his interactions, it was hard to believe how wide the difference was between savage and civilized man. Darwin concluded they were the most, the, this is the South American uh, tribe, they were the most abject and miserable creatures he'd ever seen. And he went into detail about how low these were. And he said, and I'll quote it because it's really significant, an endless number of lower races will have been eliminated by the higher civilized races throughout the world. This is what he predicted. Then the gap between humans and apes will be rendered wider between the Caucasian and some apes as low as a baboon. So in other words, now in between the baboons and the Caucasians was the blacks. Okay? And the blacks will eventually be eliminated through the competition. And then the gap between us and the lower animals, the apes, will be wider instead of at present between the Negro or Australian and the gorilla. So, and there are many, many other statements that he made along this line. Yet again, there are contradictions. A taxidermist that Darwin learned taxidermy from was black, from Africa, and he really admired this person. So how can someone hold such contradictory ideas? Well, we all do. And certainly Hitler did, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, Darwin did, as well as others. And then he said the civilized races are now everywhere extending their reigns so as to take the place of lower races, which Darwin believed would eventually lose in the survival of the fittest struggle. And here's an inferior race, which he uh, talked about, who would be, uh, well, a South American Indian. And he wrote, we do the utmost to check the process of elimination. We build asylums for the imbecile, our medical men, uh, exert the utmost skill to save the life of every one to the last moment. Vaccinations has preserved the lives of thousands who have a weak constitution. What we should do is let them die of smallpox that eliminate the weak and therefore the race remaining will be stronger. Which is probably true, but on the other hand, not a very Christian way of dealing with the problem. Thus the weak members of civilized societies will propagate their kind. Okay, No one who has attended to the breeding of domestic Animals will doubt that this must be highly injurious to the race of man. And you can see that Hitler read this stuff, although we don't know that he read any of Darwin's writings, but he read the translations in German from Darwin. And therefore, uh, he know, we know he had this knowledge, uh, Hitler did, of uh, what Darwin believed. And care wrongly directed, like vaccinations, leads to the degeneration of a domestic race. But accepting man himself, hardly anyone is so ignorant as to allow his worst animals to breed. And that's a direct quote from uh, Charles. Evil men. There's many candidates for the most evil man in history. When you ask people, when I ask people, they almost always say Hitler. Some Mao, some Stalin, some Lenin. And my conclusion is Charles Darwin. Because he was the one, and the next few slides will document that. He was the one that basically inspired so many people. So many people. And to give you a comparison, World War I was seven times greater than all wars in history put together. World War II was four times greater than World War I. Thus, World War II was 28 times greater than all wars in history. And therefore, we're talking about an uptick that just isn't comparable. And this uptick was heavily influenced by Charles Darwin. Even World War I, I haven't talked much about that, but even World War I was heavily influenced because the Germans thought they were the superior race in World War I. And this is why they felt that the war was justified. And that's been documented from...